Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray. Welcome to the channel, The Modern Creative, where we help you become a Logic Pro Power User. We're going to check out the new sound packs in Logic Pro. These can be found in two different places, but before we get there, let's go ahead and enter the Sound Library Manager. Open this up, and inside of Sound Packs, you'll see two new offerings, Beat Tape, Modular Rhythm. So we have a lot here by way of rhythm. I think probably the easiest way to do this is to create a pattern region. So I'm gonna control click here on a software instrument track type, and I will close that uh, loop browser. And so on the left-hand side, we go in the library, this is where we find the sound packs. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with modular rhythms, and probably the easiest way to access information is to use the pattern browser. And I'll just start picking apart some drum sets here, but uh, bear in mind, we're using the new modular rhythm kits just to kind of get a sense of what's what's happening here. So let's start this out. Cool, let me just change the BPM to get a little more energy here. And let's try out Analog Blaze. So great addition to the Logic Pro library. Now if you download Logic Pro, you have 80 gigabytes of information. So just be aware of that. And if you ever need to send that out to the, uh, like an external hard drive or something, you could just relocate sound library. But lots of good stuff here. Let's check out analog traces and let me go ahead and change the pattern as well. Let's try bird land calls. Yeah, so these are hard. I really like what's happening here. Uh, I mean, as you can imagine, let's say you go in here, let's add a bit crusher, maybe some overdrive, probably a compressor to kind of even things out. One of the things that I really love about this is not only do you get some great electronic drum kits, but you also get the benefit of utilizing the individual kit pieces as well. So if you're really studious, you're really on top of your game, something you can really capitalize on. There definitely isn't any other DAW in the market that gives this much value. So on the right hand side, you can also access beat tape you can also access modular rhythms. So since we're on the modular rhythm kick, Let's go ahead and stay there. Let me just add on a topper here. Okay. So a good work, a good workflow, press play, then hit tab. And that gets me into key focus within the loop browser. And then I'll audition loops inside of the Apple loop browser and kind of see what sounds good. So again, I'm gonna hit play, then I'll hit tab. And that takes me into the loop browser. Okay, so I kind of like some of those. Uh, let me go ahead and just chop up what I like. Okay, I basically just like this portion here. And so I'll hit 
uh, colon there, command R a couple times, and this gives me a really nice workflow. You might also want to get a nice crossfade in there as well. All right, and then just to avoid any kind of weird chops, uh, never a bad idea to increase the crossfade so it's a bit more seamless in nature. And then as always for all the pros out there, you know that if you just basically add, you know, a little bit of chroma verb or something, it just covers up any and all mistakes, anything that's rough around the edges. So this sounds really amazing. Uh, if we take a, a little bit more of a listen into the modular rhythm section here, we can see that we have audio loops uh, primarily. And so let's go and check these out. Absolutely bananas. I love what's happening here. Let me transition over to beat tape. And again, all audio loops, 244 loops to be exact. Let's see what we got here. That's some nice swing to it. Okay, so what I'll do here, I'll take a loop from the loop browser, I'll drag it into the track header, create a quick sampler, and then just by means of using slice, maybe I can create something interesting here that I am into. Let's see, can I that? Okay, let's see if we can get something interesting happening. One of the things I love to do uh, just at random is just create a pattern region and then just literally you know, plug and play, just try things out. It doesn't all have to make sense. So let's just do this and see what happens. All right, something you could do to kind of make this sound just a little bit cleaner in general is to uh, gate the performance within the sampler so it's not like playing out to the, to the end there. So let's check this out. Good, filter the top end maybe a little bit just so it sounds clean. And then I'll go ahead and drop the pitch. Let's try an octave, kind of go from there. But yeah, good stuff. Lots of possibilities here. Let's go ahead, uh, maybe wrap this up. Left side of the screen using a software instrument track type. Again, this is an empty channel strip. And I'll hit up beat tape on the left hand side. Again, we have an electronic drum kit. Uh, let's try chopped up. We use the same methodology. Uh, why don't we just hit Command C to get a pattern? Uh, Command V, bring that in here. Let me change up the pattern, of course. Let's try burst mode. Uh, I'll solo this. All right, so that's chopped up. Let's check out click and sticks. Maybe I'll change the pattern here.
Cool. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be covering pretty much every feature if I can in Logic Pro 10.7.5. If you're liking the content, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, let's keep this thing going. I'll see you in the next video.